Uh, welcome to Learners Coach once again. We are going to look at some of the best information technology courses uh, found here in Kenya. Uh, when we talk about information technology, this is a very dynamic uh, field that requires a lot of things uh, to be understood, right? You see, when we talk about IT, we need to factor in the different dimensions or what we refer to as paradigms within this particular field because you can have interest maybe in data analysis you can have interest in software development and you can have interest uh, maybe in computer networking so we are here to actually understand uh, what are these best information technology courses that you can always pursue right uh, when you are here in kenya so you have, uh, as you can see, I've already opened our website. I've already written this particular article. And as I always say, I normally factor in also our audience who like listening and maybe not reading. So for those of us who just like uh, viewing and listening, then this video is for you. If you are not interested in this particular <laughs> video, I've shared the link to this particular article so that you can take notes, read at your own uh, pace. Now let's dive in and look at the first best information technology course and that is software development, right? A uh, full stack. Now when you talk about full stack is that you need to have a whole package or a full understanding how to develop a software uh, from the front end all the way to what? To back end. Most organizations prefer these kind of people who understand both the front end and back end. So you can always uh, maybe understand languages such as HTML, CSS, JavaScript, right? And name them. So as you can see, also you have listed the career opportunities that you're likely to engage in. Uh, you can be a software engineer, you can be a web developer, you can be an app developer or a software architect right so that is one of the best uh, uh, it related course that you can pursue uh, we also have number two a uh, big data analytics right most organizations are overwhelmed by analyzing large chunk of data so they require you to understand how to uh, play around with this complex data so that you can provide some uh, useful insights to their data for them to make uh, very decisive or very informed decisions about their strategy or how they can implement their strategic plan. So you need to understand maybe we have the Power BI that uh, that is a Microsoft option uh, that offers you data vis visualization understanding. You can do Hadoop. You have uh, a structured query language you can learn that so after this you can become a data analyst you can become a data scientist you can become a bid that is business intelligent developer so check out uh, with this particular uh, option big data analytics we have ai and robotics that is artificial intelligent uh, intelligence and robotics so this one as you are aware the world is moving towards automating uh, their systems right wherever you go you will either be served by a robot or you'll ask some ai uh, uh, machines to help you or assist you with things so you need to know how uh, maybe to uh, to create this particular AI, AI concepts that uh, um, can help uh, people do their business and so on. Like right nowadays, even marketing has gone uh, to another uh, level. We are moving from social media marketing to AI <laughs> marketing, right? So things are changing very fast. So this is going to enable you uh, become uh, an AI, AI specialist, right? You are going to become an automation engineer, you can become a robotics engineer, right? So you can also select this as another option for your information technology uh, course. Then we have the fourth one, that is data science and machine learning. Now, data science is more, more related to the big data analytics that we have seen. And of course, machine learning is more related to the, to the AI that you have. Uh, seen, but now this is a broad concept that allows you to perform 
a lot of uh, complex data analysis with using machine language or machine learning right so you learn uh, to use uh, python to perform some kind of statistical modeling uh, predictive analytics right so again as i'd mentioned you can become a data scientist you can become a data analyst right so your preference it's about your uh, preference either you do data science and ma machine lang learning or you do big data analytics they are more or less the same i uh, think then we have uh, network administration and engineering so here is just about uh, linking the various uh, computers or machines or components right across the world right so most organizations require uh, these network engineers to be able to lay some cables and so on so the whole concept is about ensuring that you can be able to maintain organization's computer network so here you'll become a network administrator you'll become a network engineer systems admin and so on so this is also one of the best uh, information technology uh, courses that i can always recommend now the sixth one is cyber security we can't really run away from this particular uh, concept because everyone is online nowadays uh, most organizations are putting their confidential data online and they require a cyber security expert to ensure that their systems are secure and no malicious attack can happen to their systems to their data to the information to their networks and so on all you need to do as a cyber security uh, specialist is to ensure that you maintain the confidentiality integrity and availability of all these vital uh, resources so you can learn about ethical hacking penetration testing cryptography name them so here you can you will work as a security architect information security analyst a security consultant or ethical hacker so i believe cyber security is also one of the most sought out uh, information technology courses not only here in kenya but around <clears throat> the world now the seventh course under the domain of it is it project management we have major pro uh, mega projects that are being launched like in kenya we have the konza city yeah we have very small projects within the organization and this one requires someone that understands project management uh, skills if an organization want to procure their it assets right you are the one to do this particular budgeting if there's a project to be launched you have to schedule it and so on so you need to learn uh, some kind of project planning risk management and of course you'll become the it project manager you can become the coordinator and so on and so forth so it project management is a very very marketable and i'll really uh, recommend it if you want to do any of the it courses right uh maybe before i proceed i'll also mention that uh, of course you don't need to do it as a four-year program you can even do uh maybe it or business it then you do some certification right in project management right so uh, either way i prefer that so you can do certification in pmp for example if you have a bbat that is just also uh good right now moving forward we have uh, i can say one of the best technologies that so far has been launched this is blockchain technology i know you have heard of bitcoin so this one reinforces security it works on what we refer to as peer to peer right uh, peer to peer kind of uh, technology i know you're wondering how comes i'm well conversant because this is my area actually yeah one of my main or one of my degrees that i did was computer science so i, I understand this right so blockchain technology allows you to create smart cities right it allows you to create for organization a way of a uh, secure system of how they can create some kind of transparency and so on so blockchain technology is one of the best technologies that i'll really recommend you to 
learn if you know about bitcoin and how it works then bitcoin is implemented on a black uh, blockchain uh, technology uh, then we have quantum computing it, this is one of the latest technologies that is used in our processors <coughs> name them right so <coughs> with the evolving technology uh, we find that most devices require to perform complex or solve complex uh, problems very very fast and that is com quantum computing so if you're interested uh, you can learn this right so you'll become a quantum computing scientist you can become a quantum algorithm a researcher but actually it's one of the latest and most marketable uh, technologies that you can always learn lastly <coughs> it's about user design right so if you want to design or have <coughs> some kind of uh, understanding of how to develop websites that meet user expectations or softwares then you can go for ux ui ux simply means user experience and of course ui means user interface from there you can be able to design quite a number of softwares or applications do some kind of usability testing so that the softwares and those particular websites are free of uh, errors and they can be used by users right without any problem so you can become a ux designer ui designer a user researcher and so on so i believe ladies and gentlemen for those of us who have been asking which it course is the most marketable or which one should i pursue then i've already answered your question so you can just go ahead and check on this particular uh, options right and see which one you can be able to uh, do from your end so i hope this actually meets what you've been looking for and should you find it useful always subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like this particular uh, video all right thanks